Hey there, welcome to episode 13 of Tick. Tick. Boom. Boom! I'm Alicia Malone. I've been obsessed with movies for as long as I can remember, and that's why I created Malone's Movie Minute.com. My name is Maud Garrett. Games are my jam. So I've done geekbomb.net. We can catch all your geeky goodness. And we created Tick Tick Boom so that we could indulge in our passion projects. And this week, we put out the call for people to ask what topic they would like us to talk about. A lot of feedback, loving what you guys are suggesting, and a lot of you wanting to know our favourite soundtracks and scores for movies and mm. games. Uh, a lot of the time music we feel can be overlooked because you're so kind of consumed with what you're watching, and especially in a game, you are playing it. Uh, but I think we do need to give a little bit of recognition. For me, I feel MMOs and big games require a really great score uh, to kind of keep you in the moment uh, and also to adapt around your surroundings. So for me, coming in at number three, any Elder Scrolls game. It could be Elder Scrolls Online, it could be Oblivion, but for me, it's Skyrim. And it's such a beautiful game. Um, no matter where you are, it could be in the forest, it could be by the ocean, it doesn't matter where you are, the music is right there with you and it kind of makes you feel very, very small in a big universe. Mm -hmm. Number two for me is, again, a franchise that's been going on for a very, very long time and the music is always A+. plus. It is a Final Fantasy. I love all those sorts of Final Fantasies. Um, they've kind of nailed that really delicate, kind of tinkly music uh, and it, it drifts along with you in a dreamlike state, even though the game can be quite... What? Now, yeah. If that makes any sense. That's a JRPG for you. And coming in at number one, it may be no surprise if you know me at all. This is my favourite game out there and the music is a big part of why I love it. It is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But you know what? I'm going to say that any Zelda game out there has a great score. The music's A+. Plus. And not only do I have this particular music downloaded, I also have the orchestral version of it. So when I go into Zora's Domain, it's like harpsichord and it's just... It's my happy place. <laughs> what about you? You're going to go a different direction with scores. Yeah, well, instead of talking about my favourite film score or my favourite film soundtrack, this is a clue to one of my soundtracks, I decided to go with my favourite composers. And I'm going to put a top five list on MaloneSMovieMinute.com, which does include all of the usual favourites, the usual suspects, like John Williams and Hans Zimmer, Danny Elfman, etc., etc. But I decided to go with the three that you might not know about, but I personally love. So, at number three is a group called Pale Three. Now, this consists of German director Tom Twickber, Australian techno producer John Klimek, and German composer Reinhold Hale, who's also one of the producers on 99 Luftballons. <laughs> now, yeah. together they've worked on many of Tom Twickber's movies, all the sections he's done in other movies like Cloud Atlas and Parish of Ten. But I love these guys for the work that they did on Run, Lola Run, which is one of my favorite movies ever. And the music just really added to the energy. As soon as you hear this song, you have to just run all day. I love to use it as my jogging music. Number two is Jan Thiersen, who is a French musician. He doesn't consider himself a composer, but he is responsible for one of my favorite film scores, Amelie. Director Janet was in the car with his production assistant. His production assistant played him a CD. It was Jan Thiersen's music. He decided that he had to commission him for the soundtrack and he bought his entire catalogue as well. I love La Val's de Amelie. That's the theme song from the movie and it just sums up the whimsical, beautiful quality and it does sound very, very French. Number one, the guy that I love for film composing is Clint Mansell. Now he was an English musician. He was in a band until Darren Aronofsky came along and hired him for his first feature film, Pie. And since then, they've worked on many films together, including Requiem for a Dream, I Love Looks and Turner, which has been used in so many film trailers, including uh, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and many more. It makes anything sound epic. And I also love his work on Duncan Jones's Moon, including Welcome to Lunar Industries. That one also has the same kind of epic growing quality it takes a little while to get up to its crescendo and i love it i put it in, on in the car all the time so that's it we've uh, <laughs> indulged you in not only the best soundtracks for games but the best composers for movies what do you think do you agree with us do we miss out on any maybe comment below let us know your thoughts i'm sure there'll be plenty <laughs> of comments there and let us know if you have another topic that you'd like us to tackle in terms of films and video games Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like if this is a video that you thought was pretty cool and worthy of a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to Malone's Movie Minute or 
gig bomb at the moment, then you probably should give it a go. Movies on my jam with my YouTube name. I'm forward slash geek bombshells. This has been Tick, Tick, Boom!